Okay, welcome back to tutorial three for beginners. Okay, so what we're going to do is following on from the last video is we've now learned how to create walls in a loop and create a roof from a wall. Also walls will also allow us to create a floor underneath it. Okay, so if I right click on a wall, I can go walls, generate, floor face from walls. I can now go to my slab tool or floor tool and I can choose different types of floors so this one here would be bearers and joists if you're not sure what they are essentially they're the timbers that sit underneath the floor to hold the floor up okay or I can create a concrete slab I click here You'll notice that a dialogue comes up and it gives us the ability to add in floor so I can change the thickness of my floor I might say I want it to be 100 millimeters you can write in inches or whatever it is uh, do I want it to be a footing only which would basically a footing is uh, what holds up the concrete at the moment I think we can uh, we'll go with uh, without that box ticked and we can also put in here a footing and beam width so we can click here and this you might find that this isn't opened okay so click here, it's the thickness of my slab, I'm going to have a footing uh, and I have uh, my footing depth my f and a recess so because we are drawing from here I have a recess depth and I have a recess width and the recess width is a distance from here to here. Now out of the box you'll find that the recess width uh, is probably 150 but you can change this around and the recess depth is usually the distance when we put a concrete slab in that these bricks sit below the slab and it's basically so water doesn't come into your house I'm going to click submit and you'll see what happens here okay so it created a concrete slab these are called footings as I mentioned before my slab is 100 mil thick I think I wrote in there but you'll notice my bricks don't come down to suit my slab I could change that slab and let's go to this one here and we'll have a look right click walls generate floor face from walls okay it created a face and it's selected for me automatically I can go to here to my slab tool and I can change the step down distance from here to here and I'm going to change it to a hundred millimeters usually technically it should work to increments of brickwork However, I'm just going to make it 100 and I'm going to go submit. So now the distance between here and here will be 100 millimeters, but I want my walls to come down and this is sort of more advanced and it's not necessary for you to do at this stage. You can make your slab dead flat if you want to. You could also go and say, well, you know what, I want to make uh, a zero recess, which means it's just going to be dead flat walls generate floor face from walls okay and I'm gonna make it zero here so before it was 86 I'm gonna make it zero millimeters and go submit and now my slab lines up with the bottom of my walls look at the wall tutorials and there's a very good wall tutorial that tells you how to do this and we can step these walls down okay I can also create a slab from a face or I can actually just draw around things if I chose so uh, if I said I wanted to have a slab and I'm using my rectangle tool I use R as a shortcut and I said from here right out to here I want to make a slab I now need to select that so I use my space bar and I select the face and I go back to my slab tool and I create a slab I could also go to my slab tool. I've got a face selected there, so it's going to create another face. That's a, something to watch out for. You know, I almost made a mistake there. So I'm actually going to go to spacebar, and I've clicked outside of it. Therefore, that was selected. That is not selected. Okay. If I use my slab tool now, let's have a look at what happens. Submit, but however, it didn't create anything because it's allowing me to go and draw a slab. I can draw it however I want to. Start simple. Okay. 
and it's as simple as that guys it really is just a matter of practicing so practice these things over and over and over if you spend 15 to 20 minutes doing this over and over you get to remember what happens and why i hope it helps jeez